Hello! This video covers the process of converting body cages to clothing cages and back again. This is useful for UGC creators who are creating 3D assets and understand the basic principles of UGC, layered clothing, and more. If you're unfamiliar with these topics, check out these other videos to get up to speed. As a quick overview, cages are invisible boundaries on 3D layered accessories that tell Roblox how the object would stretch and wrap over another object. You typically modify these in a modeling tool like Blender before importing both the cage meshes and the mesh object into Studio. If you make avatar bodies in clothing, you would know that cages come in two types, one for bodies and one for clothing. Sometimes, you might want to design clothes for a specific body type. You might have the character body asset, but you'll need to convert the body cages in that asset to clothing cages in order to make your accessory. In this video, I'll show you how to convert one set of cages to another. Some important notes before we start. First, Roblox provides cages on their resources site, and you should try to use the official Roblox resources whenever possible. You should be extra careful about using cages from third-party sources. Incorrectly configured cages can prevent you from uploading and selling your asset. Sometimes you might not know about a cage issue until right at the very end of the creation process. Third, cages can be very tricky. Modeling can be very tricky. Practice and mistakes are expected and required. Now let's get started. In this case, I only have access to a blocky body file available on the documentation website, and I want to convert the body cages in this file to a clothing cage that I can use to make clothing items. First, make sure you have Blender 4.0 or higher. You should also install an extension called Vertex Overlap, which helps you identify overlapping vertices. In a new project, import the FBX in Blender. If the FBX file was previously scaled for Studio, adjust the scaling so it better scales within Blender. This may require some experimentation, since adjusting the scale helps you identify the overlapping vertices later. This complete avatar model contains a lot of extra components we don't need right now. Click the armature and press Shift-G to select all the children and delete everything but the cages. With our project cleaned up, Shift-click the outer cage objects. Right-click in the 3D workspace and click Join. All the meshes should merge together. Select the combined objects and enter Edit Mode. Enable X-ray and wireframe visualization to see through your mesh. Since we joined multiple mesh objects into a single mesh object, there are extra vertices in our mesh where the different pieces used to touch. We need to identify and merge these vertices into a single one. Using the Vertex Overlap extension, select Show Overlaps. This helps you identify exactly where you have overlapping vertices. With Vertex Selection enabled, select the head vertices and press H to hide. We don't want to be touching any of these vertices today. Be very careful about joints near the center and the torso, especially with non-humanoid characters. In our specific case, the Vertex Overlap tool caught two false positive vertices near the lower torso. You have to zoom in very close to see them. Shift-click the extra vertices to unselect them. Now that we're selecting the expected 308 overlapping vertices, right-click and merge vertices by distance. Press Alt-H to unhide the head, press A to select all your vertices. Now compare your number of vertices selected with the vertices in this video. This needs to be exact for any clothing cage you use in Roblox or you may find issues uploading or validating later. Head back to object mode, duplicate the cage, and rename the cages to underscore inner cage and underscore outer cage. Now you have a working group of Roblox-ready clothing cages to make your clothing accessories with. You can also do this process in reverse and convert clothing cages into body cages. Delete one of the cages, we'll only need to work with one. In edit mode, select all the vertices. With all the vertices selected, go into the UV editing tab. You'll see all the cage UVs on the left and the cage mesh on the right. If you don't see the UV islands on the left, make sure to go back to the edit mode and press A to select all vertices before going back to the UV editing tab. In UV editing, enable UV sync selection. This is the icon with two arrows going in different directions. This allows you to select areas on the left UV panel and it'll automatically select the corresponding mesh vertices on the right panel. For each island in the UV map, drag and select the entire island and then right click in the right window and select separate by selection. Do this for each of the 15 body cage parts. Afterwards, rename each new mesh part that you created to the corresponding body part name and include the underscore outer cage affix. If done correctly, your body cage should work as expected. To test this out, let's import our original file again and replace the cages with the ones we just converted. You can see here that there are no relevant errors when we import the file. 
and when we try it out in avatar setup, the clothes seem to fit as expected. I hope you found that helpful. This process saved me a lot of time when I needed a clothing cage for a body type, but I didn't have it on hand. This also helped me understand cages at a deeper level, which is important if you want to make layered clothing accessories. Let me know what you think! As always, thanks for hanging out, and I'll catch you next time!